Hey everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. This week I am using the Playful Ghost to make Halloween treats. And this treat actually is a box inspired by my friend Angie Judah. Um, she makes the best boxes. I've always been inspired by her stuff. So thanks Angie. Uh, inside this box is a individual Oreo uh, trick or treat. They actually, I don't know if these are new or what, maybe I've just just now seeing them, but individual Oreos that you can hand out to trick-or-treaters. And it says this pack glows in the dark. So this box is gonna hold this little uh, Oreo set. Right, the first thing that you're gonna do is get your piece of Highland Heather, cut it to five and three-fourths by 10. And we're gonna score the long side at half an inch, three and three-fourths, five and a fourth, eight and a half. All right, now turn it to the short side and you're gonna score it at one and a half, four and a fourth, and five and a fourth. Okay, now the first thing you gotta do before you can start doing any cutting is get your bone folder and you wanna burnish these lines like this. Make them nice and crisp. Bone folder is gonna make them nice and crisp for you. Now this, along the long side, we have this half inch uh, section. That one you actually want to fold backwards like that. All right. Now over here when we first scored, we scored this half inch section right here. First thing I want you to do is cut off that tab like that. And then we're going to cut off these two sections as well. Okay. And I'm going in just a little bit at an angle for that tab right there. Now down here, we're going to cut the score lines across the bottom one half inch section. And then you're gonna cut the corners, if I can cut a straight line, there we go, off of these uh, square tabs like that. Okay, snip and snip. All right, now up here at the top, we're gonna cut off this rectangle right here and this rectangle right here. So we'll start on the end first, and you're gonna go all the way in because that tab below it needs to be separated. Not cut off, but it does need to be separated from the one next to it. And then this one we're gonna go in like this. And cut that rectangle tab off the top. Like, whoops, like that. All right, and there is your piece. If you wanna pause the video to use that as a guide to cut yours, go right ahead. All right, I am gonna use tear and tape uh, for the adhesive over here. You could use liquid glue, you could use Stamp and Seal Plus. And we'll peel that backing off like that. Let's, I, my adhesive went a little bit long, so I'm just gonna fold that over. All right, now take this and fold it like that, and then your side will line up right there with that edge like that. All right, and there is your box. You can see how it's coming together, right? All right, now fold the sides in on the bottom and then the back, and then we'll put a piece of um, tear and tape right there. All right, and then fold that guy up like that. And there you have your box. So you can see these sides are gonna go in and we're gonna pinch this closed like that. All right, let's put our cookie in down in here. This box will fit other things too. Um, so don't think you're limited to just the little Oreo. Now we're gonna punch some holes in the top and to make sure I get them in the right place, I'm going to um, draw a circle because I can't tell you how many times I've punched a hole and then thought, wow, those look totally uneven. So if you use a pencil first, it will help. All right, so just any old hole punch you have will work. Make sure they're lined up. You wanna go through both sections, both tabs. And then I am using this silver and white, let's see, I don't know the name of it, silver and white sheer ribbon. I thought the sparkly uh, edges on this were kind of fun. And the sheerness reminds me of our little ghost. All right, so go through here like that, 
thread those and let's tie a bow. Another option you could do if you didn't want to punch holes in it and tie it, you could get a little clothespin and close the top with a clothespin and just glue a bow to the clothespin. That's an option too. I like doing that too. You can get little mini clothespins at like the dollar store, Walmart. All right, cut those ends off at an angle. And now listen, little bow, we need you to be cute and arrange yourself perfectly. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now, I've got a piece of our new um, Halloween paper, designer series paper. By the way, um, I always have the details for these projects over on my blog. This one will have a PDF as well as two other playful ghost projects on the same blog post. Okay, let's get to our little ghost finally, right? We're going to use Memento Black and I'm going to stamp him on a piece of just white cardstock. And then I've got my stamp and blends and I'm going to use Highland Heather stamp and blends to um, coordinate with our cardstock that we used. All right, so I'm going to just take that bullet tip and and very carefully, I kind of like to start on the edges and move my way in. The bullet tip, I think, helps you stay in the lines a little bit better than uh, the brush tip. All right, so fill that all in. And then carefully come over here. You might need your glasses for this. I always have to put my glasses on now these days when I'm coloring my eyes just continue to say, nope, we need you to put the glasses on. All right, there we go. And then I'm gonna carefully, when you have a really narrow area like this, you can take the tip and just kind of tap that color down in there. Color that in. Okay, now leave that open because we're gonna use it again and get your dark. And I'm gonna come around under here like that and then I'm gonna add a dark shadow along the back side. All right, and then I'm gonna take my light marker and I'm just gonna kind of blend that color out. And as it dries, it will blend. Kind of do this at, at an angle like this. Okay, and you can also, I like to take the brush tip and help flick that color out. I think it blends a little bit better. There we go. Now, um, we also need to add a shadow right here. It'll be dark underneath. So I'm gonna make that whole thing dark. And back here it would be pretty dark. And then right there. <laughs> He's so cute. Okay, now um, for his vampire, I guess he's got a vampire costume. So for the mask part, I'm gonna take uh, Smoky Slate Dark actually. Um, you can use basic black um, stamp and blends, but I just find that they are very dark and you'll lose the details here in the, the ear part. Um, so I choose, I like to choose dark smoky slate rather than basic black. All right, color that guy in. And then for some extra fun, I'm just gonna take my light petal pink and give him some rosy cheeks. That way he's not too scary. Now these, unfortunately, do not have dies, so get your um, paper snips and cut off all that extra cardstock. And then I'm just gonna carefully go around the edge of him, leaving a very narrow border of white around the edge. Okay, so just go slowly. You wanna keep the paper in the center of your blades on your uh, paper snips and use small, small uh, scissors for this. If you haven't gotten our paper snips, they're about 10 bucks and they are so good, especially for this. If you try to use big scissors, you're gonna get frustrated. All right, one thing you should do too, which I haven't done is let, let that extra cardstock fall off there because it will get in your way. Okay. Carefully, we're almost to the end. There we go. All right, now I have cut out a um, 
basic black stylish shape circle, a couple of uh, basic gray stitched clouds, aren't they the cutest? And a basic white banner. And I'm gonna stamp Happy Halloween on the left side, like that. And then let's start with our clouds. We will put one up here like that, and the next one like that. Then we'll do our banner. I notice I stamped the sentiment on the left side of the banner because we're gonna put our little ghost on the right side. Like that. And then lastly, add a few rhinestones like this for some stars. All right. And then all you have to do is add this to your box and you have an adorable treat box for Halloween. There we go. All right, you guys, hop over to my blog, grab that free PDF. Let me know if you have questions and happy Halloween. Bye.